What's up, everybody? We're at the Eagle Bluff Campground. Cliff. Eagle Cliff. Oh, Eagle Cliff. I said Eagle Bluff last time, too. There you go. Eagle Cliff, in between Lanesboro and Whalen. See in the background. We just got everything set up, changing our baby's diaper. <laughs> After Jared being pissy out. Well, yeah. Just trying to get it all rolling, you know? Anyways, we'll try to bring a little camping vlog to the channel. Like I said, put a little adventure on it. And here we are, we just got here. So we didn't film any of the setup process because we got well, we got here late, it's cold, didn't feel like dealing with it. Well, I knew what to win the Now, this is like, what, the third time we set this camper up? So we should be, yeah. we should be golden now. Now we're, we're pretty much pros. What do you have to say, Caitlin? Well, Elf. I just hope this trip doesn't make Jared pissed off, so. <laughs> All I have to say. I'm relaxed now. <laughs> hey, get him in the picture. Hey, that's a good one right there. Ah, take a picture. Doesn't that take pictures? I think it did, maybe. Either way. All right, we'll see you for some more later. <laughs> Turn on the propane. It's raining outside. Look at this fanciness. Whew. All right. <sighs> Started right up. You want it on? Like medium. Man. A little tour of the camper. Here's Caitlin, the chef tonight. TV. Stereo. I can zoom this out a little bit. Fireplace. Front door. Kid on the floor. Got couch. Dining room table. It's a double slide out. 2021 Puma. Was it 38 feet? 37. 37 feet. Bed. The old kitchen. Watch out for the kid. Bathroom. It's a pretty big bathroom in here. Bunk beds. Oh, turn that light on. Yeah, we got the bunk beds all set up for the kid. A couple more right here. I'll show you the outside too. All the switches. All right. Come out here, we got an awning. That front door up there, back door here. Front door leads to the bedroom. And then this is my favorite part. Don't even cook inside if it's nice out. Outside kitchen. Got a flat top, sink, covers, microwave, fridge, whole nine yards. And then, walk around the back. Got the one slide out here, and then the other slide out. This campground has full electrical hookup, water, sewer, so that's really nice. And as you can see, it is not very busy. It's very open though. It'd be cool if they had a little bit more trees around like each camping spot. But it's not bad, especially with it not being busy. There's only one other person back here. But you got a nice view. Can't beat that. It's cloudy right now, but. And then over that hill, they have like their main campground area, but 
from the looks of it, I, th I definitely like this one a lot better than the one up front. Just seems a little bit more secluded. But yeah, so that's a little tour of that. We're gonna go inside, cook some tacos, watch a movie and eat. So probably not very eventful tonight. Maybe a little bit more tomorrow. Or if the rain goes away, maybe more tonight, but all right. Oh yeah, I forgot a couple other things. Um, there's like a hookup, you can put a TV out here if you wanted to. Uh, outside speakers. And then the water heater. You have, fill up your tank. They got plugins here. And then you get your antenna hook up and stuff. You can get Wi-Fi. They got a Wi-Fi signal on top. Storage container. Got your propane. Got your jack. Oh, storage container that has been left open. Oh, pick that up. I just got under there. Stabilizers. This is the other front view of it, but yeah just wanted to show you that there's another little compartment here as well and i think that's about it and the hookups i think i showed you that but yeah a little half ton pickup poles are pretty good too fun times doing truck things with my truck when i can <laughs> all right caitlin how was the first night camping with the child? The child's fine. You're the bigger problem. Why? Because I knew the first night was going to go exactly how it was going to go. I had a problem with the water heater. Got it figured out now, though. If World War Three could have been started, it would have been you. Yeah, I get upset when I having issues, but got it all figured out. It's working now. This is what it looks like at night with the accent lights on. The old fireplace pumping. Kicks out pretty good heat. So does the furnace. We had to turn the furnace on. Mm -hmm. That does too. A little propane furnace. Kids got his room set up. <laughs> it's always flipping over. We gotta watch them. Yeah, these bunk beds actually turn into couches too if you wanted to. And I don't know why that just like I got that. The camera's not functioning properly. Oh, yeah, Caitlin's enjoying some wine. I forgot my wine glasses at home. Yeah, so she has it in a coffee mug like a sophisticated person. It'll be perfect. It'll be lubed up and ready to go for coffee tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> You'll have a little residue. Mm -hmm. Residue action in it. It's supposed to be upper 50s tomorrow, partly sunny. So you Might actually be able to do something. Hopefully. It's not supposed to rain, so... Hopefully. Hopefully we can do something. Oh, there's more lights, too. Where? This one kicks on. Got a little switch right here. Oh. Oh. Brightness. Okay. So off. much for accent lights. Those ones are bright. Makes my head shine. <laughs> Did that bother you that much? Uh, all right, well, we'll see you for tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. How's it going? I'm up for the day. Caitlin and Brantley are still sleeping. Got my spark. So it got pretty cold last night, but that furnace uh, works pretty well, keeping it warm. And then um, 
We had that fireplace going as well, and that really helped. So it stayed pretty warm in here. Um, and it holds the heat good, so it was nice, good test on the colder weather. But just checking in for the morning. Someone woke up. How's it going? You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? <laughs> you wanna say hi? He doesn't know what's going on. Feeding time. <laughs> Caitlin, how was the first night in the camper when it was cold? I just woke him up. Are you sleeping? He was fine. Did you stay warm? Yeah, I did. Hey, buddy. It was nice. Everybody's up. It's another cloudy, cold day today, though. I don't know what we're going to do today. What are we going to do today? Um, hike a little bit somewhere, maybe. <laughs> maybe. We're having a nutritious breakfast. Cheese. Cheese, sausage, wheat thins. We had a bagel. Now really hitting it up. Okay. Well, it's been an hour. And this is how far we've gotten. I don't know if it's the cloudy weather, the coldness, or what, but. Relaxed. Are you just being relaxed? It's a good time to be relaxed. He's relaxed, playing with a towel. You ever just sometimes wish you could be that amused? <laughs> that you just love towels? So, this is the bed. It's actually really comfortable, too. Believe it or not. We have a... Is this mattress top a top that you put on there, or did it come with it? I put it on there. Yeah. Makes it good. It's got storage underneath. Cupboards and stuff. There's probably plugins for your phones, USB. There's probably definitely things I've missed um, showing in the camper. Um, this is our third time using the camper. Got it last year. So um, this is the first time we've used it in cooler weather, like I mentioned earlier. And yeah, it was it was good. We stayed warm and it's comfy and as you can see the furniture out there is comfortable. It all turns into beds too if you want it to. I think you can sleep like eight to ten people in here. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe later we'll do something. I might just start a fire just for something to do later, but yeah, the weather's not very nice out. So but either way it's still relaxing. And, yeah, if I find more things to show you, I will. But, anyways, hopefully it warms up a little bit. I think it's only supposed to get, like, in the 50s. Could have put a heat vent in here that would have been helpful it gets chilly but it's not too bad horrible location for toilet paper roll that's okay though otherwise 10 star a-okay so just got done taking a shower which reminded me Early in the video, here's the water heater. You can hear it, it's working. Flip the camera around. It reminded me last night that we mentioned we had a little debacle with the water heater, which was not. Hey! Hey, you threw that. <laughs> I'll turn this damn bus around. That'll end your precious little field trip pretty damn quick, huh?
water heater's fault. It was user error me. As I've stated before, it's only our third time using the camper, so still getting used to everything um, with it, setting it up and all that. So I ended up having two valves backwards, so it wasn't filling the water heater. So I actually got lucky that I didn't burn the heater element in it, but once I figured that out, filled it up, water's toasty hot, it gets real hot, so um, it's very nice and showed you earlier uh shower is good size so don't feel cramped in there especially for me being a big guy but yeah camping is probably my favorite outdoor activity to do so i'm definitely happy that we're here even if the weather's not nice and can't really do a whole lot um well we can but you know we'd obviously like to have better weather so we'll see what we do today but it's definitely my favorite outdoor activity to do um I like fishing and then I do hunting every once in a while. Um, not as big into hunting as I used to be. So more so camping and uh, fishing are my top two. But yeah, so I'm hoping that we get out more often with the camper. And when the kid gets older, I'd like to take him tent camping just cause I think every kid should learn how to do that. That's what we did a lot of when we were young, when we were kids growing up and stuff, so. We will definitely be doing that as long as he wants to. Hopefully he wants to and enjoys it, but yeah. So that's that a little update on that aspect of things and we'll see what the day brings us. Oh, and as you can see, if you can see right there, right there, there is a playground for kids to play on. So maybe later today we'll go tour the rest of the campground and shoot some videos of it, but yeah, got a little bit of a chilly breeze and cloudy, basically the same as yesterday. It's just not raining yet. Anyways, I don't know if it's supposed to, but yeah. You know. And this is my first time doing a vlog style video, I guess. So I'm just sure it's not gonna be the best thing in the world and it's kind of awkward to do it, but hopefully the more and more I do it, um, I get better at it. I just have to do it, you know. I wanna do them and they're fun to do and you know, make videos of the adventures and all that, but it's definitely something new to get used to, just walking around with a camera talking into it. So I take videos and pictures all the time, but this is different. So, you know, hopefully it's okay. But like I said, the more I do them and just get comfortable with it, hopefully they get a little bit better, but, um, and you know, hopefully there's a little bit more excitement and adventure to show, but right now it's just been a little bit to tour of the camper and 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 whatnot so uh, it's 12 30 p.m i'm the only one up what are you doing caitlin <laughs> He's soaking up her sleeping time. <sighs> Sweat vacation. I was expecting like 60 degree weather this weekend, but we all know how to Weather changes. Hey everyone. So Brantley and Caitlin are sleeping. Brantley's taking his usual afternoon nap around this time and Caitlin's just enjoying um, her time off of work and can't blame her there. And like I've mentioned a million times, the weather is not the greatest, but I wanna get out and check some things out a little bit. So I'm gonna drive up to the other part of the campground that I was talking to you about and just kind of just drive around with the with the camera on and show you what the rest of it's all about so let's go
Hey guys, we're back at the campsite already. Uh, that didn't take very long, you know, less than 10 minutes to go around the whole campground. As you can see, we're, uh, you know, right along the water and um, I showed you the different areas of the campground and there's more campers up there, which I think are the seasonal campers. Uh, that's what Caitlin said too yesterday, I believe. And yeah, they got the laundry and the showers, which is really nice. The laundry is really nice. Um, I didn't go in there or nothing, but just to have it, it's really nice. And the showers and the bathrooms up there. And then they uh, had the office area, which Caitlin said there's kind of like some snacks and stuff in there you could go buy if you wanted to. So like maybe a little convenience store. And I didn't go in there, so I, I don't know, but just going off of what she said. And yeah, just wanted to give you a little tour of that. Something to do while they're sleeping, <laughs> enjoying their downtime. And I just wanted to get out for a little bit. So a uh, quick little tour of that. And then, um, yeah, we're back at the campsite. The weather's the same. It's only 47 degrees. So still chilly. But hey, you got to enjoy it and take it as you can. Anytime you can have some, some just getaway time. I love just getting away you know i never thought that i would uh well i mentioned earlier that i've always really liked camping but traveling in general you know has really turned into something that i thoroughly really enjoy to do um you know almost like a passion i guess you could say of mine you know if, if we could go somewhere every weekend i definitely would pick a new destination and go all the time um it's definitely fun to do and and to just get away and see new things and just wind down and get away from all the things going on. You know, you just forget about stuff and you just don't, as much as you can, you know, and you just try to shut the mind off, which I have a really hard time shutting my mind off on a lot of things. You know, I'm always thinking of stuff, but when every time I'm away though, it's easier and uh, you don't stress out as much about whatever's going on in, in your life or the world in general. So yeah, it's it's awesome and I hope to plan or hope to bring you on with more of them. I always have on like my Facebooks and Instagram and stuff but like integrated into the YouTube channel, you know. Um so yeah, anyways, just wanted to do that and share that little tidbit with you and uh we'll keep seeing what the day brings. Yeah. Yeah. One more. <laughs> All right, me and little man out here. Gonna take a walk. I got some geese out here. They're gonna show them. They're perking up already. They know we're coming. <laughs> Yeah, that didn't take long. Oh, maybe. Let's see if we get closer. Show you the geese. Hey, look at the geese. Look at the geese. Look at the geese. We're getting pretty close. I don't know if you can even see him in the camera. Probably about 40 yards away. Look at the geese. See the geese up there? Making some noise now. They're gonna come at us. I don't wanna get too close because they can get crazy. But here we are. Some geese back in the road there. What do you think, buddy? He probably has no idea. See the geese? 
Yeah, it is warming up out though. Feeling pretty good actually. Yeah. That was fun. You don't want to get too close. They can get a little crazy sometimes. <laughs> they come at you. Got something in the trees over here. What is that? I should have brought the little, the uh, little backpack, little kid carrier. <laughs> Not a lot easier. What is that like a little parachute thing? Oh. Looks like it. A little toy. We're gonna walk on down by the by the water. What are you looking at? Hey. <laughs> He's staring off into the distance. Coming up on their camping areas in the back. I don't know if this is supposed to be like just a little walk area or to actually try and fit a car in there, but it looks really narrow. this but I don't know little tent areas I would assume no power or anything now we're right down by the water what are you doing pretty calm yep Nice scenery around here, nice and quiet and peaceful. Right, buddy? Right? You're getting heavy. Right, buddy? Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll walk, keep walking. <laughs> All right, fun little adventure. There's the geese again, making their way closer to our camper. A wildlife action. How'd your nap feel, Caitlin? Very good. You feel refreshed and ready for the night? Yes. That's good. That's <laughs> what we have a fire going. I haven't, my neighbors are in there. Not, I, don't I, don't, I haven't seen them. We got a little man chilling. I think he's ready. He was passing out inside and then we got him out here and he was pretty good. We got there some Cheez Its. White cheddar cheese. Blazing. Got the outdoor speakers going. If it you looks can. Looks like all these things have sewer water and electric. Yeah, that? they even have them over there too. Hmm. The ones way out hmm. here, they have electric and water. I didn't check to see if they had. Can you sewer zoom in too. that tree and see what's in that tree? Yeah, I walked over there earlier. It's like some parachute toy or something. Even the tent sites have electric. Do they really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah.
store. That was the little uh, convenience office store, you could say, or whatever. So it has some essentials in there if you forget anything. <laughs> they asked me if I was the one going around videotaping earlier <laughs> and asked why. And I told them, oh, just showing people the campground, nothing bad. And they're like, oh, okay, good. So, so I tried to take a quick video uh, in there without being awkward about it, but... Yeah, so pretty cool. Get some pop. You can get some uh, like condiments and stuff if you forgot things. And then I got uh, Caitlin a little surprise here that will show. Caitlin, I got you a surprise. Marshmallow sticker. Oh, you found sticks. Nice. I found some in the store. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. They got all the essentials up there if you need it. They asked me if I was the one going around videotaping the campground earlier. Now at AroundRiverCity.com. The Deke Slate near Radio. June 12th and 13th with Midwest Family Broadcasting. Radio. Get the one and two speakers on, so inside speakers. And then the two speakers. Yeah, that's cool. 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 And if you play a movie, you can have it playing outside too. And you, yeah. All I gotta say is, I don't think we'll have any issues <laughs> with our kid outside. So we took him ice fishing uh, one time on a pretty decently warm day, so it wasn't bad for him. Did the same thing, just chilled and fell asleep. And here we are again, and we've taken him outside numerous other times. He just relaxes so it's really nice it's not a bad day there's a little bit of a breeze but it turned out to be decent at least it's not raining Brantley what do you think of the fire what do you think hi you want this you want this back on you want here you go he's doing pretty good here you go no okay Leave me alone. Right. Good night tonight. Good fire. We saw a golf cart parade. Yes, actually. And it was uh, my high school friend's family uh, slash co-worker who I've never really met. <laughs> <laughs> Dreams that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything yeah yeah one of those things <laughs> one of those things yeah well she works in a big department so yeah, that's I work in a very big department. pretty given uh we had some brats brats and... um hot dogs caitlin's dad and sister came down yep we cooked the brats in the pan on the fire I should have taken. We boiled yeah. the brats. I should have taken a video of that. Ah, ah. Ah, he's been sleeping, what? but now he's up. We boiled the brats in the pan with water because uh, they were frozen. 
and we took skewers for the hot dogs. So Caitlin, yeah. uh, what would you say, how do you like this campground? I actually like it. I think it's uh, very, you get the hills and the woods, but I feel like the part that we're in is very close to the other campers. So. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, so if this was full, this yeah. is the only part that sucks is, like, you would literally have somebody camping right there. But if you point it to the hill, point it to the hill. Yeah, here. the hill. So you can see. A little bit more spread out. You can see the hills up there. Yeah. And then the yeah. river is right beyond those trees right there. Yeah, which I showed them yeah. earlier. Yep. I do like that you can hear geese. Can and hear there's the geese, geese out in the. And the ducks. Yeah, there's geese out in the lawns and stuff, and you can, you know, you hear the wildlife and yeah. see the wildlife, so that's yeah. nice. Yeah. There was, so you see where those two lights are right there? I didn't know that, but yeah. It it looks like a driveway, but it looks very thin. But then I, I looked at this one, and I'm like, yeah. maybe it is actually one? But it's like, should damn, we, man, that's narrow. Should we narrow. go over there? I was over there. Yeah. So Alrighty. what was it? It was. It was like... A driveway? It was like two posts put together to where you could drive your car. And it was gravel. I think it was... Yeah, it was but gravel. where did it go to? Just to the campsite, like this. Like this right here. There's campsites over there. But then that goes to the river. If you look at those lights, it looks like it goes to the it river. It doesn't go to the river. Oh. It stops in the campsite. I mean, I can show you the video. This is supposed to be like... Just a little walk area or to actually try and fit a car in there, but it looks really narrow. <laughs> if you want me to, I have video footage of it. <laughs> but they just looked like really, re they looked really narrow, yeah, like really weird. narrow. But yeah, oh, this is our stuff all lit up at night. So you can see, got some blue uh, LEDs in the speakers. I was telling Caitlin we should put some LEDs underneath put a glow kit underneath the camper it looked pretty sweet but uh i would camp here again for sure i like it i mean it's not as busy so maybe i'd change my mind if it got really really busy um i wish there was spaced out a little bit different more but other than that i think it's pretty good yeah i think it's a good spot i like the campground it's got a complete um like children's play area. Yeah. And it said it had a bike path, but I don't know where the bike path goes to. But if you were to go to Lanesboro, which is four miles down west of yeah. here, it has a complete bike area that goes down to Rushford, which is, I know at least long, I don't know how long the bike path goes to, but it's a big bike path. I don't think we have any problem of our kid loving the outdoors. No, either. not at all. He slept the whole time in his little chair. He's been doing awesome. <laughs> he doesn't cry. He doesn't, doesn't complain. Cry. Yep. Just chills. He's right. Enjoys it. Licks a zipper licks on his, <laughs> his snowsuit. Doesn't get fussy unless he's hungry. We got a good fire going. Oh, no, he's hungry. Are you hungry? But you yeah, and I feel some sprinkles coming, so I think we're gonna get some rain again. Yeah, unfortunately. Absolutely. But it's a good place. Eagle Cliff Campground, Lanesboro, Minnesota. I yep. think this will be this will probably be the last clip of the video, honestly. Honestly, yeah. Until tomorrow, Until maybe. Tomorrow morning. We'll give you a little yeah. whatever, but I didn't videotape as much as I would have liked. But this is the first time vlogging a camping trip, so that's pretty good. He's making some noise. <laughs> Let's go. He's, he's laughing and smiling. And Are you warm? It feels warm. He's just making his normal noises. You're enjoying yourself, aren't you? Hey, you having fun? You having fun? You having fun? Having fun? He's got the hiccups. Yeah. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, there'll be more of this. And we'll uh, do some better videos or something. Cool. See you on the next adventure. <laughs> <laughs> See you on the next one. We might talk to you tomorrow. Maybe. But if not, thanks for watching and we'll see you for the next one. Bye. <laughs>